To interface the API with our client app, we need to send an HTTP request from the action creator and pass the API response to the reducer. We firstly need to install two NPM packages. One is Axios and the other is Redux Funk. Axios is one of the most popular HTTP clients. It supports Promise and it can work on client and server too. It allows you to write a XML HTTP request in a succinct way. It also supports cross-site request forgery protection by default uh, without writing any specific settings. Redux Funk instead is a Redux middleware that allows you to write action creators that returns a function instead of an action and to delay the dispatch or to delay only if certain conditions are met. For instance, it could allow you to dispatch an action only after you get the response from the server. All right, let's move on and go to terminal and install Axios. Then install Redux Funk. Now, going back to our code, let's make a small modification before we move forward. You might have already noticed that since we modify our Express server, we have now two app.js files. In order to avoid confusions, Let's rename app.js inside the src folder as client.js. It makes sense since this app is actually the client app. Remember to edit the entry in webpack config file and launch webpack to check if it is compiling correctly. OK. We can start now editing our action creator. We will start by editing the post book action. First of all, import axis from axis. Then in post book, we don't return an action straight away but instead a function. Now we can do this because we will be using Redux Funk. Inside this function, we fire an HTTP POST request with Axios to slash books URL and passing a book. Axios uses promise, so we then dispatch a postbook action with the server response as a payload and if only the request is fulfilled. If instead we catch an error from the server, we create a new action type called postbook rejected and decide to send the error to the reducer or maybe you can decide to send a custom error message we want to be displayed to the user. Now with these simple changes in the action creator, the client app is fully integrated with the API. We just need to add Redux Funk middleware so go to app.js and import thunk from Redux. Finally, you just add thunk in the apply middleware method. All right, let's save and refresh and try to submit a new book. It seems that everything went fine 
since uh, the state is clearly showing the response from the server. Obviously, if you refresh the page, the new book is not rendered because we didn't implement the get API in the client yet. But if you go to Robomongo, you will see that the new book was saved in the database. 